Dear all, welcome to this channel. In this video, we will see how to use SolidWork integrated with Team Center. The agenda of the video is to cover the displayed points. Team Center integration for SolidWorks enables you to reduce your product development cycle times and costs by enhancing your CAD environment through integration with Team Center. We can access Team Center PLM capabilities directly from within SolidWorks. Through this task pane, we can manage all the activities. Integration captures SolidWorks parent child relationships and create product structures in Team Center, as you can see in below images. We can create and edit SolidWorks drawings and assembly relationships under the control of Team Center. Benefits of Team Center integration for SolidWorks are SolidWorks files information can be combined with technical data to form a single source of information for supplier. Less time spent finding the correct revisions of CAD data. Faster product change and approval processes resulting in decreased time to market. Enables consistent work processes to be followed across all data formats resulting in fewer errors and rework. Improved collaboration within your organization and with customers and suppliers. These are the prior requirement to work with SolidWorks data in Team Center. Integration should be correctly done. Let's proceed for demo. First, we will create SolidWorks part and save that 3D model in Team Center. For that, we will go to New, select Part Template. A new part window will appear. Also, this pop up will come. Click on Yes. Please log in with appropriate credentials. Please wait for ID generator window to appear. Now click on New to create new ID, change item name and other attributes accordingly. You can fill in these optional properties too. Check Workspace and Team Center path, then click on Create. Now start creating the part. Once part creation done, click on Team Center icon at right hand side. The first one shows active models in SolidWorks, the second one shows files in the cache, third one shows an active workspace client. You can see it is checked out now. Now check the symbol. Click on Save and SolidWorks part checked in Team Center. You can see white rectangle. Now we will open this in Active Workspace. Click on Item, right click and select Show in Team Center. This is how it will look like in Team Center. When it is checked in, then it shows read only. We can check out from here also. After checkout, the read only disappears. We can again do cancel checkout from same drop down. Go to rich client and search for the same item, check preview. Check other information and attributes from summary tab. Now we will revise the SolidWorks part. Click on Part and click on Save button. 
A save window will appear, click on revise. You can see the next revision. Save this revision. Now we can see new revision here, check it out and start editing it. After doing the changes, save this revision as shown. You can also see this next revision in Active Workspace. Check the same part in Rich Client. You can see the old and new revision preview and the change made in part. Now we will create a SOLIDWORKS drawing file for this part revision. Go to the file and select Make Drawing from this part. Select the appropriate sheet size from drop down. Select and drag the view onto the sheet. This window will appear. Just click Create and this will save the file under the same ID where SOLIDWORKS part is. We have some options too at left hand side. After completing the drawing, click on Team Center icon. Select Part and Drawing both. Then click on Save. Give a check mark for the part and select both, then Save. Both datasets are saved now. Go to Rich Client and check the drawing dataset under that ID. Check the preview for drawing dataset as well. Now we will create a SOLIDWORKS assembly. Go to New and click on Assembly. A window will appear for browsing files, close it. This pop-up will come, click on Yes. Click on New to generate a new ID, change item name and other attributes accordingly. Check Workspace and Team Center Path and then Create. Right-click on the assembly model, as shown, and select Insert Model. In this window, you can search for an item ID directly or from Advanced Search option. I will search for an item by using name, hence I am using the Advanced Search option. After getting search results, select the item revision and click on Insert. In this window, you can also see Preview and other info on right-hand side. After inserting, that ID will appear in left-hand side box. Click on it and then move your cursor into empty space. You can see that SOLIDWORKS model is also moving with your cursor.
move it to the required position and click. You can see here, that part is under the assembly now. Again insert the other parts with same process. Sometimes Team Center will give you an alert that, model is present locally and will be opened from workspace. This is because that part got saved into default workspace. While inserting the parts you will get various options in left-hand side window. For example, configurations. You can choose which configuration to add for any SOLIDWORKS part. You can see the added parts in the part tree at left-hand side. After adding the required part save this assembly into Team Center. Assembly got saved into Team Center now. Right-click on the assembly and select Show in Team Center. Click on Content tab. Here you can see all the parts under that assembly. Now go to Rich Client and search for the assembly item ID. Open the revision, check preview, and other information. Double click on Bomb View. This will open the SolidWorks assembly in the Structure Manager. You can check the child parts here. You can check out the assembly from here. By using Cancel Checkout option, you can check in the assembly. Please visit our Team Center and NX helpline, which is free and open to all PLM community. Here, you will get instant expert assistant, guidance, and best practices for your organization. You can also email us at mentioned email ID. We provide services to these Siemens products and also developed our own smart port application to automate issue reporting and resolution. Thank you for watching this video.